What's up, Taurus? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. No, we didn't. My phone just had to go in a little power mode. But what's up, Taurus? Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video. 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 Alright. So. We're going to light you a chakra first because I feel like you guys need that. And we're going to burn some sage. Okay, so we're going to light the heart chakra. Alright. Let's get lighted. I ain't going to light it because it's my last one, but <laughs> Spirit was like, light it. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day today, 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 today. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel, please. Do you know that it's weird that a lot of people watch the videos, but they don't like it? So you click on it, watch it, watch it to the end, and don't like it? It's a click of a button. Like, why not just like the video and subscribe? Maybe you didn't like it. Maybe that's why. I don't know. It just It's just a question in the back of my head. Like, well, you watched it. And then it's like, for me, it's my platform. I'm managing it. I can see exactly what you're doing. I can see who watches, how long you watch, all of that. Like, what the... Like... It's obvious. <sighs> anyway, thank you to my true supporters. I appreciate it. For the people who actually genuinely support me and love what I do. So this reading is for the sign of Taurus. I'm picking up energy that you're tired, kind of defeated, kind of want to cry, having anxiety, having a ball in the middle of your chest. Like, I feel like it's a ball or something in the middle of your chest. Feeling uptight about something. You're not happy about something at all. Like, something is very much so irritating you. It's bothering you. It's bringing out the side of you that you have already worked on. And I think that's what's most irritating. That you feel that you're about to react. And you don't want to. Towards. You don't want to react how you used to react. Because you came a long way. frustrated right now you could be feeling tired irritable like what 
the fuck like why like you could be feeling like i'm speaking english and nobody understand me and everybody around you speak english but it's like nobody is catching what the fuck you're saying it's like i don't know how many times you gotta say it and how many times you have to show or say what the fuck you mean and mean what you say and people still don't get it let me burn some sage for you on um, Taurus. This reading is for the sign of Taurus. Shout out to my grandmother. Her birthday was May the 2nd. My grandmother is a Taurus, so shout out to my grandmother. She passed away. So I um put some flowers on her grave or whatever. But for some reason, Taurus, I'm feeling like you irritated. Almost like you want to cry. That's how that's how irritating you are. You ever been so irritated that only thing you can do is just sit there and cry? Because I'm just that irritated. Like I'm real life irritated. That's how irritated I am. You could so like. Things are happening to you for no reason. You could feel like, why me? You have the Empress that came out Taurus, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, you have the Four of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Okay. You have the Eight of Wands, okay, and then you have the Tower card. So, you could be about to release some burdens and make a decision, Taurus, but after you make a decision, you do have the Tower card, so let's move forward. At the bottom of the deck, you have the world card. Let's keep going. With. Brown bear spirit. Take time out. You have squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. You have 
koi fish spirit, there is always enough. You have frog spirit, put out the clutter. You have moth spirit, surrender now. Let spirit be your God. Hawk spirit. You have dove spirit, be peace. You see clearly now. Oh, it says, wait, what? Yo, I pick I had this card in my hand though, but I read this card. I'm like, our spirit, you see clearly now? This says be here now. And I didn't even look at the card. This card was flipped over. A good moment that I didn't even get to catch on camera. Half of it's on camera, not the whole thing. Damn, that was a good moment. That's when you know your intuition don't lie. Take the lead. Be fearless and be bold. You have act as if chameleon spirit and embrace the in between. All right, so let me give you your spread. At the bottom of the deck, you have Ant Spirit. Time to collaborate. Okay, Taurus. So, there's a need for you to be fearless and bold, to take the time out to continue to be fearless and be bold. You need to act as if you are fearless and you are bold. You have dev spirit. You need to be more at peace with yourself, okay? Embrace the in-between. Seek peace, happiness, okay? Be peaceful. Embrace being peaceful. And clear out the clutter. Let spirit be your God, Taurus. But you have to be here now in order for spirit to be your God. There is always more than enough that Spirit is going to provide for you in order to guide you. But you have to surrender now. You see clearly now, but you have to believe in yourself in order to take the lead. So let's get some more cards. 
your person's energy, your energy. Taurus. This is your reading. Thank you for showing up. God hears you. God hears you, Taurus. You've been 333. You have to make a wise choice and clear your mind. So we're going to look up the angel meaning of 333 because this is um, significant to your situation, circumstances, or lifestyle, or you as an individual. So when you see an angel number or a synchronicity number, you can go both ways. Basically, it's a um, message straight from your angels, ancestors, spirit guides, whoever the, whoever's your go-to person. This is where that message is coming from. And this is something that resonates with you that you need to read, either listen to. If you can listen to a video in regards to what the angel number 333 means. Or you can read the article. I prefer reading. So just read it. You know, read it or have your phone read it out loud to you. To see how it applies to you. Hey Google. What is the angel meaning of 333? On the website trustedpsychicmediums.com, they say, Angel number 333 symbolizes aid and encouragement, just like the angel number 1313. Hey Google, what is the synchronicity meaning of 333? On the website trustedpsychicmediums.com, they say, Angel number 333 symbolizes aid and encouragement, just like the angel number 1313. It means that your angels are just nearby, ready to help and reassure you that your plans are going well. Okay, so the next the next stuff that came out, I showed you guys already. You had envy, and you also had time tells everything, and 888. So, hey Google, what is the angel meaning of 888? Hey Google, what is the angel meaning of 888? On the website sacred scribes angel numbers .com, they say, angel number 888 indicates that financial and material abundance is on its way into your life and may be suggesting that you will receive unexpected rewards for past good work. Karma repaid in kind. Okay, the reason it hurts so much to separate is because our souls are connected. I'm going to put it back in the deck. If it comes out again, I'll take it. You have Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. You could be dealing with someone that has ego problems, stories, or you have a strong ego. been seeing someone else don't forget you have the time tells everything I love your deep stroke you're my sunshine will you consider giving me another chance undercover so I feel like Loki that this person wants another chance with you they're just having a hard time with asking you that. They're trying to make it seem like the connection is more sexual. So you could be done with the cancer. You have the 69. Maybe you guys did the 69. You have in the summertime. You bring me back to life. I look for you everywhere. Shed some tears. It's been years. Stop pretending. Right. Certain of these cards are really irritating me.
I'm more hurt than you think. Family could be involved in this situation. I want to keep you. I miss your smell. Something is still missing and I'm trying to figure out what it is. I love when you lick my nipples. When you left me, I was broken hearted. to come towards you right now Taurus panic they could suffer from anxiety stress or they could be under pressure right now you have recognition and then you also have God hears you no need to panic Taurus God hears you you are my missing piece Remember this is something is missing and I'm trying to figure it out. And then it says you are my missing piece. Threesome. And five five five. Hey Google. What is the angel meaning of five five five? Here's a summary from the website TrustedPsychicMediums.com. The hidden meaning behind angel number 555. Angel numbers 555 mean that you are going through, or will be going through, a positive change in your life. It's a triple number, indicating that number 5's vibrations are also tripled. So we have the May card that came out, so something could be transforming for you in May. Sagittarius card. Um, expose your emotions. I'm so sorry. Mind your business. I'm sensitive when it comes to you. I love your body. I would like to take you to dinner. be done with the Aries. I miss being intimate with you. Well, we know that. They could be single right now, Taurus. You feel like home to me. Like, I'm sorry that this video keeps getting interrupted. My phone is about to go to eight. I hope it do not cut off. This is definitely about to cut off. This is on 10%. I'm trying to hurry up. Gay, I plan on spoiling you with gifts. A message for you. I'm thinking, thinking of you at this very moment. A moment of ecstasy. January. I am worthy. I am loved. I am kind. I am beautiful. You don't get it. Change is coming. I got to hurry up. Take that high resonance. Yeah, the star card that came out, which represents brightness, hope could bring excesses. So be careful not to become too greedy. Don't be too greedy because change is coming your way, um, Taurus. Four swords, sickness, bed illness, needed to take time out, rest and, re and relaxation is needed here. You had the Ten of Cups, happiness, good things, party or celebration. You had the Nine of Pentacles, peace of mind and contentment. 
You have the Ace of Cups, Security, and a Helping Hand. And you also have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So this, the um, your your ancestors, per angels, or spirit guides are definitely looking out for you. There's an angel or somebody specific to you that has been assigned to you who has passed away that's in your family that you know of that is looking out for you. Taurus. It could be a Sagittarius person. Only you would know who that is. Seven of Pentacles. Work, frustrations, hard work needing to be done either at work or a situation in life. The Hermit. Loneliness, unattached, soul searching, then needed or time being what loneliness the hermit loneliness unattached soul searching time needed or time alone sorry guys king of swords man over 25 years of age brown eyes brown hair cold abrasive demands respect Whew, i'm trying to rush a little bit because i don't want the video to cut off and then like you know i don't finish you guys reading you have the death card, death of a situation, or endings, new beginnings. You have the four of cups, money fluctuations, being offered something you may not want, Taurus. You also have the ace of swords. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying that. Which, this was already in your first spread, okay? Frustrations, double edged sword, hollow victory. Thank you, Spirit. King of Pentacles. Okay. Man over 25 years, dark eyes, dark hair, business, arrogance, and powerful. All right. Oh, and the lover's card. Okay. Love affairs, romance, building again within marriage, relationship, relatives, loving relationship you can share with a friend. Go, Taurus. Go, Taurus. Go, 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 Taurus. Our game is fierce and we are here, so get that weak shit out of here. Try to sell our bitch, look like shit, because we're the ones who was down with that. Mm. Comment down below if y'all love Bring It On like I do. Comment down below if you watched Bring It On before. Alright, so, let me get you some quotes to meditate on and an affirmation, at least one before the video cut off. Because my phone is dying. So, let's get... Okay, thank you. Yes, we got... Okay, we got three. Thank you. Actually, yeah, we got three. Okay, cool. Oh, we got four. Okay. Oh. Good job. Okay, cool. Even better. So, I am worthy of love and I choose to love myself, Taurus. As you should. Because you are the Empress. And that's what Empress do. They love themselves first. This is another affirmation you could say to yourself. I have everything I need right now for an abundant life. Four of Wands. Queen of Wands. You got what you need. Not only that, you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got what you need. I am the sky. Everything else is just the weather. Basically, Taurus. You got to rub it in, though. Do not say anything harsh. You have said what? Do not say anything harsh. What you have said will be said back to you. Angry talk is painful retaliation. It will get you. So that was your reading story. Like these cards really. Hey Google, what is the angel meaning of one eleven? On the website sacred scribes angel numbers .blogspot .com, they say angel number 111 
Number 111 symbolizes the principles of spiritual awakening and enlightenment, high energy, inspiration and intuition, self-expression and sensitivity. I know y'all saw me doing a card, but that's because I have to do this cleanse on these cards. After all these different energies and we shuffle these cards from scratch. Literally, that means picking them up off the ground one by one. Literally. So, I don't continue to get the same cards. I don't care how many times you shuffle. Sometimes as a tarot reader, it's irritating to continue to get the same cards back to back over and over when you already shuffled them. Like, right? why are you getting the same message over and over? Is this something that you didn't get in the previous reading or something? Because I'm trying to be on the optimistic side about it. So I'm like, well, okay, well, is this something that you missed? Because why would the exact same cards be coming out and you fucking shuffle? Like, right? it's mind boggling. But hey, if you are terror reading really yourself, comment down below and let your girl know. Because I surely would like to know. Because it doesn't happen like that with any other tarot deck. It only happens like that with that specific deck. Actually, it did. No, it really didn't. Did it? No, uh, it didn't. I'm going to have to take this bitch out. Oh, so that was your reading, um, Taurus. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I hope this reading resonated with somebody out there. Don't forget that this is a general reading, so if it doesn't apply, just let it fly. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but... If it did, I appreciate that. Give me some feedback, let me know. I'm done for today. Because I need to meditate on these cards. I need new energy coming through these cards. I don't I don't like the energy that's coming through these cards at all. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to meditate on these cards so we can be picking up better energy for my babies. Because I love y'all. Y'all my family. But we got some work to do, and I, I have to do it. I have to do it. So I'm over here trying to fix this car because this car is extra flimsy. So I'm trying to, like, laminate it the best way I know how for your charge. Was my scotch. You know? So, yeah, I love you guys. That is it for you guys today.